sloppy Friday. Um, I get to go back to work today for the first time in like, oh, I haven't been to work since last Monday, so a bunch of fucking days. Um, I had COVID, shout out Omarion, Omicron, what the fuck ever, that shit sucked. Um, I'm so glad I didn't get version one, two, three, four, whatever versions we had before now, because that shit sucked. I had a headache for like eight solid days, and that's not fun for me, just not something I wanted to do. So, um, props to me for surviving. You're welcome. Anyway, um, that's kind of, nothing's been going on, because I've been at home for ten days, um, with my kids, trying to be a teacher because they're also home they didn't get sick though thank goodness but whatever i go back to work tomorrow everything is about to be right with the world speaking of being right in the world um we are still in a lockout with mlb so everything's not really right in the world but we did get like a little smidge of some news here and there um we learned that carlos correa is now a scott boris client um carlos correa was gonna make a fuck ton of money now he's probably just going to make a fuck ton plus some. Um, I don't know that that really qualifies as news. It's news. It's news. But he's going to make a fucking ton of money regardless. So whatever. But shout out him for making sure he gets to make as much money as he possibly can. Okay, so what else did we learn? Oh, today, like just a little bit ago, we learned that MLB told the Rays that they can't have a split home. So they can't do the Tampa... Montreal situation which duh because like how would that even work I don't understand the point just give the Rays a fucking stadium that's in Tampa that doesn't suck and let that be that and if you want baseball in Montreal then put baseball in Montreal and put the other baseball team in Nashville and make it an AL team because I don't want to have to compete with the Braves and let's just fucking go let's do that that sounds great to me I would love to be able to go two hours this way or two hours that way and watch professional baseball Especially if it's different leagues. Would love that. Would love that. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of all that's happening. The owners did give a um, proposal to the players this week, end of last week. I don't really remember which one. And it fucking sucked. They basically waited six weeks to not change anything from the last proposal that they gave. And it didn't address the things that the players wanted to be addressed. And it was essentially a non-starter. So, that's that. Um, I don't see how we don't miss games at this point. I kind of have said that. But I did also say that if they met before January was over, we were kind of on track of where I thought things would be this season anyway. Not that I'm some fucking genius. But I just kind of figure if they're talking in January and maybe by like the end of February we get something, then, like, a few weeks later, mid-March, we can start spring training. May start baseball? Maybe? Maybe? I mean, I think it's possible still. We'll see. Um, we'll see what the players come back with. Who fucking knows? But I'm hopeful that we get something done in the next four to six weeks. <laughs> that's pathetic. Uh, Stupid-ass sport. Anyway, that's all that's going on in baseball for the most part. Um, the NFL, I do not give a flying fuck about, but the Super Bowl halftime show was announced today, or I saw it today. It's like Mary J. Blige and Kendrick Lamar and Eminem and Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg, and I am fucking here for it. Here for it. So, I can't wait. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm sorry. I just don't care about the NFL. You guys know that. You don't come here to get your NFL news. Go wherever you go for that. But come here for the Super Bowl halftime critique because I will have that. Um, the NBA, man. The fucking Hawks. Like, I don't, I don't know what the Hawks are. I, I feel like we're good. I feel like we have all the pieces to be good. We went to the Eastern Conference Finals last year. We probably would have gone further if Trey didn't get hurt like he did. Or at least I'm going to tell myself that. But we brought all those pieces back for the most part. And they're just not fitting back together the right way. And I don't understand why. Um, I don't understand what happened. But it's 
rough out here. Um, we are still below 500. We still can't really finish games. We're still losing winnable games. Um, it's just sad. It's just sad. And then we fucking traded Cam Reddish to the Knicks for like, uh, it's fucking, I'm sorry, I don't remember the bro's name. It doesn't matter to me. But anyways, I just don't know what we're doing. Like, if we're going to be bad, let me know. But if we're going to be good, let's be good. Okay? Like, let's just fucking figure it out. Because right now I'm so confused. Because, like, we came back and beat the fucking Bucks the other night. And then we beat the Timberwolves. We have a chance to, like, have our first win streak in a while tonight if we can beat the Heat. So, I guess, like, we'll fucking see. But also, the trade deadline's coming up. And we are still below five. It's We're, like, 19 and 25 or something. We're not just, like, barely below 500. We're, like, below 500. So, we just got to fucking figure it out. We gotta fucking figure it out. And I would really prefer if we made it to where we stopped sucking. Because I don't want to lose some of these guys that I've grown to, like, love and be so attached to. I don't want to lose John Collins. I don't want to lose Kevin Herter. Like, obviously, we know Trey's not going anywhere. And I don't fucking know. I just wish we would figure it out. That's all I'm asking. I just need us to figure it out. And we'll see. I'm going to watch them play the fucking Heat tonight and see if we can figure out what the hell's going on. Speaking of, figure it out. In the NHL, the Preds are um, on a bit of a skid. We've lost four games. Um, we're third in the Central now, which is still not bad. We got like 51 points. And the leader in the Central has like 55. Which, is it the fucking, are the Blues leading right now? I think they're in second. Doesn't fucking matter. We don't care. We don't care. Um, we play the Jets tonight. Hopefully that'll help us get back on track. We play the Jets tonight and the Red Wings on Saturday. So we have the opportunity against two meh, teams to maybe put things back together. I understand. Who knows if the Preds are going to be good this year was the way we came into this. But the Preds were kind of good so far. I mean, they've been kind of good for a while now. So, also, don't want to stop that. Um, no thanks. No thanks. So, we'll see. We have two games to watch tonight. We, you, me, I, us, we have two games to watch tonight to where we figure out what the hell our teams are going to do. The Hawks playing the Heat and the Preds playing the Jets. And I hope they both win and they start winning and they keep winning and we're going to have some fucking fun. That's what I hope. Um... Now, speaking of, like, no fun, um, college football is over officially and is your national champion for the year. And um, I personally hate that, uh, but I also would have hated it if Alabama won. I don't like either of those teams at all. And Auburn sucked this year. <laughs> so, um, that wasn't fun to watch. But, whatever. It's over now. Who cares? Football's over. They're trying to, like, drop some Auburn football news about us possibly. Y'all, about us. That's how I feel about it. About us possibly losing Derek Mason. And, like, baby, I don't care. I, we just stop talking to me about football. I don't care. That's not a thing right now. Um, so, just stop. Because, because it is basketball season. It is basketball season. Um, Auburn basketball is so fun right now. We are 17-1. and We are undefeated in SEC play. The only SEC team that is undefeated in SEC play. Um, we played Georgia last night and beat the fucking brakes off of them. We beat them by 23 points, I believe it was. Love that, which, I mean, UGA's basketball team is not great, but still, 23 points is 23 points. That's awesome. Um, we play Kentucky on Saturday, and 
that game's going to be crazy. It's been moved to a noon game. Um, and students started lining up for the UGA game like six hours before it started. So I fully expect people to be lining up for Saturday's game against Kentucky at like 3 a.m. probably. Like, it's going to be nuts. Standing room only tickets are like $300 fucking dollars or something like that because I kind of wanted to go, but that ain't fucking happening. So, I don't know. Auburn basketball is just really, really, really fun. Um, we are number two in the nation right now behind Gonzaga. <sighs> um, We probably deserve the top spot. I'm going to be real with y'all. Uh, but there were a couple of idiots that chose to rank Auburn lower than, like, anybody should have ranked us. I'm sorry. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, and because of those couple of outlier low votes, it landed us at second place, despite the fact that we actually had more first place votes than Gonzaga did. But that's neither here nor there. Doesn't matter. It would have been cool to be number one if we ever make it to number one. That'll be cool. Auburn's never been ranked number one before, so that'll be really cool. Okay? We, there's no other way to spin that. That'll be fucking awesome. But it's okay that we didn't just go out and give them a reason to not, give them no reason to not give that to you. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Anyways, whatever. Just go fucking beat Kentucky this weekend and you're 18 and 1 and what are they going to do? What are they going to say? Just fucking keep giving them no reason to not make you number 1. Just keep winning. Um I'm really excited for that game. It's going to be crazy. And Auburn basketball Twitter has kind of become a whole thing. Um I mean, it's been building for a while now, but the last couple of weeks shit's really gotten out of control. Uh the memes that are spammed on the opposing team's Twitter accounts. They're insane. But like, when we beat Alabama last week, we had something like 2,000 replies in five minutes or three minutes or something fucking insane. And, like, I think when we beat UGA, when I first looked, there was like 1,000 replies in a minute. What? And, like, now everybody kind of knows that it's coming. They deep fry memes. They do the laser eyes. It's a whole fucking thing. All the memes are, like, similar in style. And they think that they're all bots. And I know most of these people, and they're not bots. They're just fucking annoying ass obnoxious fucking Auburn fans and it's amazing like I love it so much and everybody's like oh y'all are so annoying oh I can't stand this this is so stupid why do you care why are you doing this and it's a very simple answer it's because it's fucking funny it's fun we're having fun here this is a game we're very invested in watching children play with a basketball like we're having fucking fun guys relax it's fine and, yeah, when we finally lose, if the team we lose to has any fucking brain cells at all, they will spam the Auburn account, like, insane amounts. And you know what? That'll be fine, too. That'll be fucking funny, too. Whatever. Who cares? Just relax. Just fucking Twitter. But it's funny because everybody knows the actual team has gotten in on it. The Auburn, um, like, licensed apparel selling the t-shirt says, like, you just lost to Auburn basketball in our Twitter mob. And that's fucking amazing. Um, everybody's in on it. Last night, SEC Network posted the final score with, I think it, they used K, I'm pretty sure they used KD's face with the laser eyes. And, like, it's fucking fun. We are having fun. And, honestly... I know we can't win forever, but right now it kind of feels like we're going to win forever. But I know that's not true. We can lose at any point in time. We could have lost last night. We can lose Saturday. We can lose next week or the week after or the week after. Who fucking knows? It's a long time between now and March. I got it. But this team is fucking fun. Jabari Smith is the number one overall pick in the draft. He will be, 100%, no doubt. So to get to watch him play every week, is a gift in itself. 
But when you take the fact that you take him off the court and the team is still just as good, that's kind of insane. I mean, Alan Flanagan is figuring his shit out after being out with that Achilles injury. KD Johnson is a fucking madman. A madman. I I don't know how else to explain it. He's plays so much faster than anybody else on the court. He's losing his fucking mind all the time. He's always making a crazy face. He's always screaming. He's always hyping up the crowd. Like, it's crazy. Wendell Green is one of the best bench players in college basketball. Y'all heard me say that like 500 times. I'm going to keep saying it. Walker Kessler has like 70,000 blocks compared to the rest of college basketball has like 40. So there's that. Um, It's just the whole team is so fun and they're just fun to watch and they look like they're having fun and I don't know what other word to use other than fun. They're just fucking fun and I'm going to enjoy the ride for as long as I can. So don't try to harsh my vibe because you can't. You can't tell me we're peaking in January because I don't give a shit. We're having fucking fun. We're worried about the next game. We're not worried about March yet. We're worried about Saturday. Let's just win on Saturday and we'll see what happens from there. Moving on, that's enough about basketball. Also, if you would have told 2016 me that 2022 me would be this excited about college basketball, she would have laughed in your fucking face because she did not have the patience to watch basketball. Bruce Pearl's changing the world. Anyway, um, college baseball starts very, very, very soon. Um, We're like a month away still-ish. Not really a month. It's a little less than that, but whatever. Neither here nor there. I'm getting really, really excited. Um, We did get a little bit of bad news today. Peyton um, is out in Arkansas. He's having Tommy John surgery. He's their, like, Friday night guy or was probably going to be their Friday night guy for 2022 season. He was a ton of fun to watch last year. I would have probably put him on my college players countdown had I had not made the commitment which was fucking stupid to not repeat teams but if I didn't do that to myself he would have been on there um with Robbie Moore but hey what can he do anyway so wish him all the best hope he has a great recovery I hope he comes out of it on top of the world and we'll see him at the next level hopefully but that sucks about this year and I mean, other than that, just it, it's coming. Like, that college baseball is coming really, really soon. And I'm really excited to share it with you guys and help you learn about a lot of people that you probably don't learn or know about. And you probably don't see college baseball. It's very easy to watch and consume. It's very cheap to go and see. And the kids are having a lot of fun. So I want you to have fun with us. So we'll touch on that soon. Um, music. Okay, so the entire internet saw the When We Were Young Festival lineup drop yesterday or maybe the day before now. I don't really remember. It's like every pop punk emo band that you ever, ever, ever loved all in one festival. It's like 12 hours long, one day in Las Vegas. The ticket prices actually aren't bad. Like, I have seen people bitching about that, but there's like 67 artists and the tickets are like 100 or not 100. Like 225 or 250. That that's the general admission. I get that. I know that's not the best, but like you can get in there for that much. So it's not awful for 67, but also you're not gonna see all 67. Also, I'm a fucking idiot and I pay a lot of money for concert tickets if it's somebody I really want to see. I just don't really care. So whatever. The thing of it being like in Las Vegas is kind of fucked up though, because that's a long ass way for me, but hey, whatever. Um, I don't really understand how it's going to work. I don't know how you can fit that. I know they've said rotating stages, but even if you're rotating stages, there's still 67 people to only play in like 12 hours. And I realize you're not going to have setup times because you'd rotate and, you know, so-and-so would be setting up while so-and-so is playing. So I get that. Like, I, I get that. But they're still only going to have like, what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes or something to play each? I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work, but that's not for me to figure out. It'll be fucking fun if it is actually a thing. I don't know. There's some conspiracy theories out there that it might all be fake. And hey, weirder things have happened. So I guess we'll see. Um, I have been listening to a shit ton of Morgan Wade lately. If you don't know who Morgan Wade is, please go look her up on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, 
wherever you find your music to listen to, please go listen to her. She is absolutely amazing. She has one of the most haunting voices I've ever heard in my life, but it's beautiful and calming and she is amazing. She has a song called Don't Cry that literally like gives me goosebumps, makes me want to cry, throw up, like <laughs> I don't know how to explain to you guys how good it is. So if you don't know who Morgan Wade is, please go listen to her stuff. Um, she's very, very good and she's very, very cool. She's a very cool chick. So, enjoy that. Um, as far as other stuff that I'm kind of obsessed with right now, I am... Okay, so I've been at home for like 10 days, right? So, I'm watching a lot of fucking TV because what the fuck else am I supposed to do? So, there's a show on Netflix called Explained. And it's there's like three seasons. It's old, apparently. The latest season's from like 2019. i would never seen it before, like watched it before, whatever. Um... Maybe it's old news, but to me, it's like the best thing ever. It is short, 20-minute, like, mini docs on all kinds of fucking things. Like, all kinds of things. And I'm obsessed. Because I, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but, like, I really like to know stuff. I'm a bit of a know-it-all, and I want to know everything about everything. I'm interested in literally everything. I always want to learn new stuff. Always. So, this, and it... The fact that they're short, like 20, 24 minutes, that's the fucking sweet spot for me because I can sit and watch it or listen to it and it doesn't take up a lot of my time, but I really feel like I'm like learning something in that 20 minutes. So there's one like time explained or like the future of meat and it talks about like lab grown chicken, like growing chicken in the labs, but it's not a chicken. There's no life to it, but it's chicken meat in a test tube. Like what the fuck? Um... So, literally yesterday, I watched, like, The Future of Meat. Um, ath- ath- I can't say that word. Athleisure explained. So, like, how the fuck all of a sudden it's, like, totally cool and fine and normal for everybody to wear, like, workout clothes all the time. Like, how that evolved and how that became a thing. And how companies like Lululemon and Fabletics and all that are excelling in it. And it's just fucking wild. But then, like, beauty explained. So, like, they talk about plastic surgery and what was accepted used to be and is now and what more we do now that we didn't used to do. And, y'all, I don't know. I'm getting so excited right now. I don't know how to put in words how fucking awesome it is. So, if you really like to learn stuff and, like, you're kind of a know-it-all asshole too, please go watch that show because you will fucking love it. And, I mean, you don't have to watch all of them. You can just watch the ones that interest you. Like, there's one on flags that's fucking so good and so interesting about like how flags are so emotionally charged and how they bring people together and divide people and this and that and it's it's so good please just go watch it please just go watch it report back let me know what your favorite episode is I have watched all of season three I have not watched one or two because I I I don't know why I worked backwards I don't know why it worked out that way but it just did so I'm gonna keep watching them um they're the best things ever. Like, they're the, the... If there was, like, a... It's kind of like... Y'all remember how it was made on the History Channel? Um, it's like that, but it's not just objects. Like, it's not just how things made. It's just, like, concepts. Like, beauty. Or time. It's fucking awesome. Oh, there's one on the royal family. Or not royal family, as in one, but royal families, as in how monarchies still exist in today's world and, like, how long we think they will continue to exist before people are like, fucking no, get that shit out of here. I don't know. I'm just fucking obsessed. I, I'm so, I love them so much. That's one of the best finds I've had. And I've watched a lot of fucking TV in the last 10 days, okay? But that show, that show is fucking awesome. So if you enjoy knowing things and being the smartest person in the room, Go watch Explained on Netflix. You're welcome. And um, that's kind of all I've got. We'll be back next week. Um, I know I skipped a week, but I was dying of COVID on Friday. So, sorry about your luck. But no more skipped weeks. So, I promise you we'll get 51 episodes of Hey Y'all in the year 2022. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Be nice to yourself and be nice to each other.